Hello and welcome to the Huntsman World Senior Games Act of Life. My name is Kyle Case, and I'll be your host on this amazing journey as we attempt to help you get the most out of your life. That was kind of interesting, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. A joining me in the, all over again. <laughs> joining me in the studio today is my co-pilot, Jeff Harding. Hey, that Kyle. was an interesting intro. Yeah, the, the computer has a mind <laughs> of its own here today. Well, how are you, Jeff? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Very, very good. I'm glad that you could be with us. I'm, I'm glad I could be here because yeah. the alternative would probably mean something bad. And we do not want something bad. That is for sure. No. So, um, Jeff, you like music. I, I actually love music. Yeah, I, I know that. And I know that because every time Jeremiah was a bullfrog, plays you dance I danced along to it, that. which is yeah. awesome well that's partly because it is from my generation yes. i mean i did grow up with the three dog diet and jeremiah and he was Being a, a good friend of he, mine he felt like you knew him and yes he was a very good friend i mean we hung out <laughs> he we didn't understand a word he said no no he, but, but he always riveted. had a good time we always had a great time <laughs> yeah <laughs> well i also like music and while uh three dog night was just a little bit before me i'm certainly familiar with him but just overall i really like music just i know like you do, you do. I, I mean, you'll, I'll hear you bust, I will hear you bust out into song on occasion in your Sporadically office. Sporadically and spontaneously. Yes, and, and you <laughs> seem to be full of life and vigor when you do it. Well, music is awesome, and I, I think that we both agree on that. And I think a lot of people uh, agree that, that music is uh, a great way to go. Um, I don't know if a lot of people realize the health benefits of music. There, are, I, You know, I, I've heard that there are some, and, and you know what? I, I do know that when I'm listening to music, there's some music that's, that, that just makes me feel on top of the world. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, I think that we've all, pro at least I hope that we've all experienced that at some point in our lives where you just, you just get that song and you just feel it. That's right. But in addition to those great feelings that come along, there are some actual uh, measurable health benefits that, uh, that come from listening to music. I so I want to talk about a few I, of them. I bet you have some there. I happen to do. I happen to have just a few of them. The first one, music eases anxiety in cancer patients. That's something I hadn't really even considered. Yeah, but it does make sense. It right? does. I mean, if you, can, if you can, as you said, get that song that just makes you feel on top of the world, it feels yeah. like it would be something that would release uh, anxiety, not just in cancer patients, but uh, in all people. Right. But specifically, uh, a certain study that was uh, performed with 1,891 people with cancer found that people who participated in music somehow not only decreased their anxiety, but it also made their blood pressure better. It improved their mood. And it was just an all-around good thing. And that's a pretty good sampling, too. That's a lot yeah. of people for a, for a test. Yeah. So, uh, so you know, the common sense there is that uh, music can definitely uh, help us out and, and brighten our days. Um, the second thing that music can do is very much related to that. But just generally speaking, overall, music does reduce stress. Right. Which, which can, you know, obviously make your life uh, mm -hmm. better and, you know, kind of more uh, healthy aspect. Mm -hmm. And there's been a number of studies that back that up. Well, when you look at the, the health, uh, the, the bad part of stress, what it does to you, anytime you can reduce that, it's good. Absolutely. Absolutely. The next thing, this one, this one was actually kind of uh, interesting to me. Music can actually boost your heart health. Hmm. So it's good for your heart. They, does, it have, does it have to be a love song? <laughs> oh, I think that that doesn't hurt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but they did find, researchers found that listening to joyful music, so there is a certain style of music, mm -hmm. but joyful music is linked with dilation of blood vessels in our lining. So isn't that interesting? That is interesting. Not only do, you, do, you, do your feelings react, but your body actually reacts to music. That, that's interesting. That is. That's really interesting. So when your blood vessels dilate more, that means that more flow of blood gets through those vessels, obviously. Uh, specifically, the diameter of blood vessels grew by 26% when a person listened to happy music. So it would make sense, and as you're working out, you should listen to joyful music. That's right. You get better blood flow, better strength. That, isn't that interesting? That is, that's amazing. Now, related to that, they did find that the opposite effect was noted when a person listened to anxiety-triggering music. The blood vessels actually contracted. So, so no death rock or anything like that? Well, no. I know a lot of people like to listen to that when they're lifting weights and working out, but it does seem like the, uh, the effect is negative. Wow. I wonder, I wonder where blues would fit in there, because when I hear blues music, it, it, I mean, I love a blues beat, uh -huh. and it doesn't make me feel depressed. It actually energizes me. But is blues happy music? Well, no. That's the point. I mean, <laughs> I, I feel happy when I hear it. 
But it, are my blood vessels saying, "Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tighten up, dude. I'm gonna tighten." I, I don't I, know. I don't know. Either. I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah. But 26 percent dilation. I mean, that's, that's huge. That's pretty significant. That's huge. It's, it's worth almost changing your style of music that you listen to. Really, I mean, 26 well, percent is yes, huge. That is. If that you're is. working out or exercising, right? Anyway, I thought that was very interesting. Another one that I found very interesting that music does that uh, actually promotes good health is that music soothes pain. Wow. You know, yeah. again, I'm, I'm just going back and thinking of times when I've been in pain and there's, maybe that's why they play music in the dentist's office. It might be. <laughs> it might be. Or in elevators. Or in elevators, because, you know, those <laughs> elevators can be very painful. Researchers from the University of Utah Pain Research Center showed that listening to mu music is effective as a distraction for anxiety-prone people from feeling pain and as a result could help people feel less pain. So the study that they did, they took 143 people and uh, they found that when they listen to music, it helps participants have less uh, response when they were shocked with non-dangerous fingertip electrodes. I'm not sure I would have signed up for no, that but, study. But it must be true because it was from the <laughs> University of Utah. Well, it, so it has to be true, yes. right? It has to be true. Anyway, it can help with pain. So, so that's something that's very important. And here's the last one that I thought was uh, really interesting and especially relating to the... Uh, athletes and the potential athletes at the Huntsman World Senior Games. Music protects the aging brain. Wow. Isn't that cool? That is very cool. So listen to this. Having musical training could protect your mental sharpness in old age. That's according to a 2011 study in neuropsychology. I wonder if it makes any difference how soon, I mean, can you, as you're, as you're aging, can you still do the musical training and have the benefits? That would be something interesting that, to find that out. That would be interesting. I don't know the answer to that. But the, the uh, reports found that they studied 70 people ages 60 to 83 with varying levels of music experience. Now, I don't right. know when they started, but they had different levels of experience. Right. And the researchers found that the people who had the most musical training in their lives had the best mental sharpness and scored the highest on brain functioning tests. That's fascinating. Isn't that interesting? That is. So there's a lot of different ways to live the active and the healthy life. Uh, you know, obviously we talk about healthy eating and avoiding sugar and uh, taking advantage of opportunities to exercise and all those things are important. But also music, interestingly enough, can be an important part of that active life as well. Well, th th that justifies having music playing in the office all the time. Happy music. Uh, happy music all the time. Happy music. So we're going to ask uh, Derek to turn it up. Well, yeah, <laughs> if, as long as we have some input, because Jer yeah. Jeremiah's got to be in there. It's got to be a part of it, right? Because he's a good friend of mine. Absolutely, absolutely, and we don't want to leave him out. Well, today we have a special guest that will be joining us uh, by telephone from uh, Arizona. No. No? Nevada. Nevada. Valerie, are you with us? Are you there? I am, and I'm in Nevada. <laughs> You're in Nevada, not Arizona. You're in Nevada. Well, thank you Although for I've joining us. I've been to us. Arizona. <laughs> oh, well, okay. So I wasn't completely off base. Well, have you ever been to Spain? That's no. a lyric from another song. You know, I've never been to Spain, <laughs> but I've been not. to Arizona. That's sorry. I'm, we're talking music. I'm, I, I apologize for that. I will be quiet for a while. <laughs> Well, well, Valerie, thank you for joining us today. Let me let me give just a little introduction of Valerie. We're excited to have her. She has been a participant at the Huntsman World Senior Games where she plays volleyball, but she's a very accomplished volleyball player and has had a tremendous amount of success in volleyball throughout her life. Jeff, listen to this. I'm not going to read everything because the show is only 30 minutes long, Right. but she has done some awesome things. She graduated from BYU. She was captain all-conference, and an academic All-American setter while she was at BYU. Impressive. That's great. Yeah. She was also the BYU Outstanding Female Athlete. Well, that's pretty cool. But there's, there's one caveat that didn't make her bio that she gave us. The team was ranked ninth in the nation wow. that year. That is awesome. That is awesome. She's also played uh, doubles in uh, grass and sand volleyball, had a lot of success there. She was the former... Uh, former member of the Women's Professional Volleyball Association, which is awesome. And she also does a lot of other things like tennis, hiking, mountain biking, skiing, snowshoeing, pickleball camping. In addition, she likes to knit, crochet, and perhaps most importantly, Valerie, she likes to do traditional Norwegian decorative painting called rose modeling. Did I say that right? <laughs> you did. Very good. <laughs> so, so what is rose modeling? 
Yeah, well, I, I've been very fortunate over the years, and I, I do enjoy a lot of activities, and I'm so blessed to be able to participate in many different things. The Norwegian painting called Rose Mulling, it goes goes back hundreds of years. Um, my mother's side has a Norwegian heritage, and um, it's a very decorative, swirly kind of roses and vines and things like that, and you can pretty much take anything and just, make it decorative and pretty, and uh, I enjoy doing that and teaching it to others. We're, we're going to have to do a research on the Internet on that one just to see. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll have to decorate decorate the office with some of those. We might need to, and maybe we could contract could, Valerie to yeah, do that. Yeah, I could come course. over and, you know, add some little swirls <laughs> just, and things. You're so just in Nevada, which is just have, next door. In addition to the positive music coming in, you'll That's have right. some uh, positive <laughs> paintings to look at. Somebody <laughs> was paying attention. That sounds like a winning combination. That sounds fantastic to me. <laughs> Well, Valerie, once again, thank you for joining us today, and uh, we're very excited to talk with you, and, and we want to talk a little bit about the active life and the active life that you have led. So, obviously, you're a volleyball player. You have a lot of other interests, but you've played some some volleyball at a very high level. Tell us a little bit about your introduction to volleyball. When did you start playing? Uh, was it as a, a young child, or was it later on? And, and you know, kind of fill us in on how you got started. Well, I did start very young, and I just played all different sports. I just always enjoyed doing a little bit of everything. And um, I actually um, started playing, like, more seriously, let's say, in high school. And I, for some reason, went to this open tryout that I probably had no reason going to at the time when I was in high school and ended up on this junior national team where I just got outstanding training, and I loved the hard work. Wow. And I just enjoyed um, the workouts and training and everything about it. Um, and so I continued with the volleyball into college and then just kind of kept going after that because I enjoyed it so much. So when I you did have a career, um, but I kept up the volleyball because of, I think, the enjoyment of sport and the friendships that you make. And there's just kind of a social um, and physical quality that comes to working really hard together and accomplishing goals. And I've just always enjoyed that. And so I've, I've kept it up as long as I can. Our joke on our team is, you know, when we're all 90 and a hundred years old, hopefully we're still together and we can still move. And we, we <laughs> do have a division for, for that at the games. <laughs> we do have a division so you can keep coming back. Absolutely. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, that sounds fantastic. I want to talk just a little bit about your junior nationals experience. You said that you showed up to a, a tryout that you felt maybe you weren't quite prepared for, but obviously you you proved yourself uh, you know worthy for the challenge and, and up to the challenge. Uh, when you joined this junior nationals team, how how far did you travel? Like, t tell us a little bit about some of your experiences on that team. Oh, it was kind of in the early days where it wasn't as developed. It was based in Southern California, and we mainly stayed there, but we were competing against other good teams at a young age. Uh -huh. And so it really opened my eyes to, you know, that higher level of competition and found that that was something that I really gravitated towards. And so I decided to work and apply myself, and I guess the rest is history <laughs> at this <laughs> point. So I, I was very fortunate in in that regard. But as you mentioned, I enjoy a lot of other things too. And so, um, you know, as I've gotten older, that's become important as well is to, um, you know, take whatever things you really enjoy and that perhaps you've been, you know, blessed with skills and doing and sharing it with others. And, and that's what I've tried to do. Well, it, it is so important to have a, a well-rounded approach to health and wellness and just life in general. So, so congratulations on figuring that out, you know, early on and, and being able to apply that throughout your life. That's great. Oh, well, thanks. I've had a lot of good influences along the way. It's definitely not a single person activity. And I think that's one of the things that Huntsman really brings to the table is it's such a positive, fun, friendly atmosphere. It just brings out the good in everyone. And we have such a great time. And it's really a highlight. <laughs> Well, that's that's kind we of you to say. To it every year. Yeah, and we we hope that that's the case. You know, our our uh, founding principles at the Huntsman World Senior Games uh, are are fostering worldwide peace, health, and friendship. That's what we're striving for. And you know, I just I love to hear these 
um, the comments that people have of, of how it's so much fun to come and just enjoy the camaraderie and the friendship. And, you know, obviously it, there's the healthy aspect of it as well. And we feel very strongly that as we get to know each other as individuals and as, uh, you know, friendly competitors on the field of competition, that we can take one step closer to peace, you know, that cultures can can align and that we can understand each other. And and it's great. We just love, we love to hear that people have the experience that we're shooting for and we continue to strive for that and will always. Yeah. And, and I think you, it's so appreciated too, you know, in the uh, volleyball competitions, you may have noticed that the teams exchange a little gifts with right. the other teams and, you know, we exchange names and numbers and especially with some of the foreign teams, you know, there's folks that I'll see, um, every year at the tournament is always, you know, catch up of hi, how are you doing? Um, you know, there's a gal from Brazil I see all the time, and you know, etc. So it's it is it's a, a unique experience. Now, Val, this is Jeff. I just want to shift gears a little bit and go back. You talked about enjoying the the physicality and and the the training involved. Compare your uh, your training regimen now as compared to what it was when you were young and maybe some of the things you found that you need to change up a little bit to be able to train to compete still at the high level, but without wearing your body out. Because when we get this age, Kyle will find out when he gets here, but when you get this age, <laughs> it makes a difference. I, I'm sorry. I keep uh, throwing those does. things in Kyle. Boy, I'll stop wouldn't it that be too. nice if we were like, we were in our twenties, but unfortunately sure. that's not the case anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know, actually I did have a coach when I was in school, the difference is, at least for me, I'll only speak for me personally, is that um, particularly since I enjoy doing different things, the cross-training across multiple activities is really helpful so that there's more of a core base of training to um, go to, you know, when you need it. So I'm not playing volleyball every day. <laughs> right. But, you know, I do try to eat well and lift weights and stay in aerobic condition, but I play volleyball and tennis and bike and um, hike. I don't run only because it sometimes aggravates my knees, but that's just a personal adjustment. And I find I can't do as much all in one sitting as I used to. (laughs) (laughs) Um, You know, so everything kind of in moderation, (laughs) and then you can enjoy it all. Well, that's that's really well, that's, the way. That's kind of been my my motto moving forward as we you know age and have to take better care of ourselves as as we go on. And quite frankly, some of the older folks that are in um, you know I'm I'm still playing fifties, <laughs> but um, I'm just so inspired by um, some of the older divisions and all the different sports and seeing what they're able to do and learning from them as well. And so that's something I think we can all do and that we can take advantage of when we go to um, Huntsman and, and see others and, you know, get their advice and learn from them. That, that is for sure. And, you know, that's one of the real advantages of competing in a senior event like the Huntsman World Senior Games. And there are, of course, others around the nation and even around the world. But you you know, you really get that opportunity to interact and to learn from and to see. And, you know, like you said, especially those older age divisions, um, there's such a, a level of inspiration. They're just so amazing. great. Truly amazing. It's fun to watch people do what they have truly loved for their entire life, especially when that life has been, you know, in the in the 70s, 80s and 90s of years. So. Right. One of the things I enjoy watching is what they've lost in speed yeah. they make up for in court smarts oh absolutely yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely well if you're just joining us you're listening to the huntsman world senior games active life we're visiting with valerie white a very accomplished volleyball player and also an athlete at the huntsman world senior games uh, i wanted to talk to you just a little bit valerie about the team that you play on now uh it's called roof is that right yes uh-huh for uh, roof sportswear okay which is uh owned by Verna Klubnikin. She's actually a volleyball referee and uh, has volleyball merchandise that was a friend of mine and has helped, helped our, our team out over the years. So, yes. So how long have you played with this specific team? It's been, we were just thinking about that. I think it's been about 12 years now. Oh, wow. So you, you really are. Enough, yes. <laughs> you guys really have played together and, and uh, enjoyed each other's company for a long time. 
We have. Um, and, you know, I, I when you told me that you were inviting me to be on this radio show, I looked up some of the emails from team members after we participated in Huntsman over the years. And um, and if you'd like, I'd like to... I'd like to read you a couple of them because Please. it kind of speaks to that relationship and friendship that you're talking about. Yeah, please do. Um, here's one. Um, it's the love of the game, the kindness to each other, the silliness, and the endless laughter that make our time together so very precious and appreciated. The most incredible thing is the love keeps growing as newbies enter the group. How lucky and blessed I am to be a part of it. The special memories warm my heart. Wow. And I think that, in particular, the memories that we get as a team, as an individuals, when we participate at Huntsman and other events similar, um, where there's such a positive, fun atmosphere, it, you just bring it with you everywhere you go. Um, another email said, life gets so complicated and stressful but having the opportunity to draw together with such wonderful women is a godsend. You know, we go through so much. And just on our team, you know, people have been through cancer and surgeries and an assortment of other challenges. And it's really more than the sport itself. And I think you'll find that to be the case with other athletes that interact um, at Huntsman and being in that environment. But, you know, it's, it's something more than just the participation in the athletics. It, it goes beyond that to the, to the friendship and the camaraderie and everything else that comes at the table. Um, and it really gives you memories that last a lifetime. Wow. That, thank you for sharing uh, those comments. That, that really is what it's all about, isn't it? It is. Boy, it talk is. about pulling well, on your heartstrings. You know, we rent a condo when we're there, and our coach is a great <laughs> cook. <laughs> yeah. So we have that, yummy that meals the whole time and uh, visit Zion, we have popcorn, we watch movies. <laughs> So wow. we have a good time beyond the volleyball as well. You know, I want to go hang out with you guys. I'm yeah. working all the time during the yeah, games. <laughs> come on over. <laughs> that and sounds I'm an awesome. excellent eater. She's the cook, I'm the eater and the cleaner upper. <laughs> sounds like a perfect partnership. <laughs> you you got to have one to have the other. <laughs> yeah. And here was another email I thought was so great. Um, this was after the husband. Thank you all for such a great experience. Who knew 50 could be so fun? <laughs> 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 yeah. it's one of those things now we get to look forward to getting older <laughs> you know that is that is kind of a, a, a fun and unique thing that uh, you see around senior events is you know people are actually quite happy to brag about their age <laughs> and the older they are the happier they are there to are brag advantages. <laughs> that's right that's right well excellent so uh, if you don't mind um, maybe share one of your favorite memories at the Huntsman World Senior Games you've You've participated for a few years. What's something that just stands out as a memory to you? Oh, gosh. Um, I guess there's so many, but um, I guess one that comes to mind is uh, it just happened that in one of the tournaments, um, we had a day where we had kind of game and then rest and then game, and, you know, we were helping each other out, lining and, you know, bringing sandwiches and eating over, you know, in the little thing. And the volunteers are great. They have, like, the cut-up little bananas and right. and things. And, and we just kind of kept going and going and going and going, and everybody just pulled together. And it didn't even really matter whether we were winning or losing, but you just felt that the team and the individuals and really everyone there was just pulling together. And there's almost um, – an otherworldly feeling that kind of comes over you when you're not playing just for yourself, but yeah. you feel almost, you know, they say in the zone, but it's not necessarily the performance that's in the zone, but you can feel your teammates helping everybody to be at their best. Mm -hmm. And I think that's something that comes out in competition and in a experience like Huntsman. That, that is amazing. And, uh, yeah. Val, have you ever gone to the concert and celebration? I have not. Unfortunately, I haven't been there for that. So, but I've heard it's fantastic. <laughs> well, let, let us just extend a personal invitation to you to, to try to make time for that. It is a great event. It's free, uh, both to the athletes as well as to the public. And it is just a fun time. All the things that you're describing 
that you've experienced at the games, it, it just continues with that great event, the ability to come together, to socialize, to listen to music that we were just talking about. Joyful music. Joyful music <laughs> and just uh, enjoy each other. So yeah, let us again, just extend that personal invitation that you take advantage of it. Well, and let, while we're extending an invitation, let's extend an invitation for you to come into town a few days early and go to the opening ceremonies and experience that. Absolutely. Yes. I, I will. I'll try to get that on the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> well, fantastic. We're running a little short on time here, but what would you say, Valerie, to somebody who's on the fence, uh, just trying to decide whether or not they'd like to, to compete or run that first 5K? What, what advice would you give somebody who's just about to take the step but not quite sure they're going to? I would say be brave, take the step. It's such an enjoyable experience, and it doesn't matter how you do just being part of the whole uh, camaraderie that takes place is wonderful. It's, it's worth the trip and it's um, worth participating. So just go for it. You'll have fun. (laughs) That's awesome. That's awesome. We hope that that is the case. And it sounds like that has been your experience. Now, how many games have you competed in at the Huntsman world senior games? Uh, Four years. This will be my fifth year. Okay. Wonderful. Well, that's awesome. We're glad that you've been uh, able to be a part of the event and uh, hope that you're able to come back. And, you know, Roof has been kind of a, a hallmark uh, volleyball team at the Huntsman World Senior Games for a long time. And uh, we hope that that tradition just continues and that you can continue to be a part of it. And that, uh, you know, as you say, the love just continues to grow. Well, thank you very much. And we are looking forward to it. Wonderful. And they're also a very, a very successful team at the Huntsman World Senior Games. It's, it's worth noting that they, they, they often go home with a gold medal. They, they've gone home with some medal. <laughs> yes, some bling. <laughs> we do, but you know, there was another quote from one of my teammates that said, winning is a great way to finish it, but the journey is the rewarding part. Oh, and it's wow. So wow. What a so great we way try to, to keep that in mind as well. But what thank a, you. Kyle, we need to get these for our marketing. Yes, we do. Yes, I know. We do. Aren't they good? I was impressed. Man, my teammates are really smart. You, <laughs> you've got some awesome friends there. Well, Valerie, that is all the time that we have. But thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to join us today. It's been just a joy to visit with you. It has. Great to meet you, Valerie. Oh, so, so much. My pleasure. And thanks for inviting me to join you. Well, we've been talking about it for weeks now, but online registration is open, and athletes, Mm -hmm. Jeff, as you know, are definitely registering. And if you're 50 or older, you can too, and we would like to extend an invitation that you do so. Uh, For information on any of our sports, the ones that we offer, you can visit our website at www.seniorgames.net, and there you can get rules, schedules, you can obviously register for the event, Uh, And again, that is www.seniorgames.net and go and register today. That's right. Also, if you're into social media, you can check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash World Senior Games, or you can follow us on Twitter at World Senior Game with no S on the end, just at World Senior Game. And uh, if you've heard something that you like today, or if you've been inspired by what you've learned, shoot us an email at activelife at seniorgames.net. And spell out senior games. And spell out senior games. Uh, so again, activelife at seniorgames.net for an email. And uh, don't forget to tune in next Thursday at 4.30 p.m. Mountain Time on AM 1450 or FM 93.1 for those who are listening live. And for those of you who are outside the area, you can listen to this and any previous episode right from our website, once again, at seniorgames.net. And here's our quote for the day from Francis of Assisi. Start by doing what's necessary, then do what's possible, and suddenly you're doing the impossible. Until next Thursday, stay active. Bye, everybody.